What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. As you can probably see, we're in my kitchen and I'm bringing you another recipe video. With the diet I'm currently on, as most of you guys might know if you've been following the Perfect Diet series, I'm not having any dairy. I'm trying to cut out as many artificial and processed things as I possibly can. So today's recipe has all natural ingredients, it's gonna be delicious, has amazing macros, and it can give you a little bit of variety when it comes to spicing up your meal prep life. Meal prep life? Yeah, Rem, don't say that. <laughs> so if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, you know I'm here to cook for you. Let's do it! Per typical recipe video fashion, I'm gonna go over all the ingredients you are gonna need to make this yourself. Starting off, we have ourselves some chicken breast. Nothing special about this, guys. $1.99 a pound standard chicken breast. We're gonna be cubing it up, which means cutting it into little pieces for the skewers, and we're gonna be adding a marinade to it as well to really increase that flavor. So, pay attention. The marinade we use is a nice zero calorie marinade that adds a lot of flavor. It can really help spice up chicken. It doesn't even have to be in this manner. If you're making meal prep chicken, you can use this marinade as well. We also have ourselves some green peppers, red peppers, and a red onion that we're gonna be adding to the skewers to add some micronutrients, some flavor, and most importantly, it's gonna make them look pretty, which is what I'm worried about. I want this to look pretty. Moving over here, we have ourselves a lemon, which we will be using for the marinade. We have ourselves some light soy sauce here. I'm going with the lower sodium version because even the light soy sauce still has way too much sodium in it, but it's gonna help our marinade add some flavor. We got ourselves some garlic here. I went ahead and bought it peeled already. I was trying to find the cloves, couldn't find them, so hey, we went with this. We got ourselves some Mrs. Dash salt-free chicken grill blends. We're going to throw this on after we cook it or during while we cook it to add some nice flavor. And then last but certainly not least, we got ourselves some skewers. I had to go for metal skewers because they did not have any wooden ones. I recommend wooden ones. Obviously dip them in water first before you cook. That'll allow you, if you don't eat all your skewers, you can put them in the fridge and microwave them later. You really don't want to microwave metal, guys. Take it from me. You don't want to do that. Bad, bad idea. So this is all we need. Let's go ahead and get this recipe video started. The first thing we're going to do is cube our chicken. That way we can get it in the marinade and have it starts soaking up that flavor while we're waiting and getting the other stuff prepped. So I'm just gonna go in here. It's got some standard meat shears here. I like to do it this way. I don't know, I find it's a little easier than using a knife, but I'm gonna cut them into little pieces, probably about yay big or so. You don't want them too big, so you want them to cook all the way through, but you want them to be a nice bite-sized portion. So everybody's bite size might be a little different. For me, that's a bite size. Some people might be half that, might even be more than that. But I'm just gonna go in here, take all of these and cut them into pieces similar to that size. And there we go. Go. All of our chicken is now cubed up. Let's go ahead and get started on that marinade. For the marinade, it's pretty simple. We're using a quarter cup of that light soy sauce. We're gonna put it in our little mixing bowl here. Like I said, it's gonna add a lot of flavor. You don't have to use this soy sauce if you don't want to, if you're worried about sodium, but as long as the rest of your diet's on point, that shouldn't really be too bad. And we're gonna take our lemon. I went ahead and cut it in half, and we're gonna squeeze all the juice into here as well, making sure we get as much of it as we can. Lemon one is done, and then you'll probably wanna go in after you squeeze all the stuff out and get the seeds out of it. Um, you don't have to use your fingers like me, but I'm a savage. Hashtag bro cooking 101. Okay, we successfully de-seeded the marinade. Now what we're gonna do is go in and take our garlic and you can use as much garlic as you want if you want a stronger garlic flavor. Use more garlic if you don't wanna use garlic at all. You don't have to. We're gonna go in here though and cut it into a bunch of tiny little pieces. I believe they call this mincing. Is that right? Mincing? Comment below <laughs> if that's what it is. And the garlic is successfully minced if that's what we decide to call it. Then we're gonna go ahead and put it in here with our marinade as well. Now we're just gonna go in with a whisk and stir this up and mix it to the best of our ability. And there we go, that should do it. I went ahead and put my chicken in a container here, that way the marinade can soak in. I'm gonna take it and just dump it right here on top. Perfect. Now what I usually recommend is going in and just kind of mixing it up a little bit, making sure it's soaking into everything. And then once you do that, we're gonna throw a lid on it and place this in the fridge. We went ahead, put the lid on it, gonna shake it up a little bit. There we go. Work for it, work for it. And then we're gonna go ahead and place it in the fridge. Now the best time frame you want to do at least an hour, but two to three hours is ideal. You can even do it overnight if you want. So while that is in the fridge, we're going to go ahead and get started on getting the peppers and onions ready. Now we're going to take our red and green 
peppers and start getting them cubed up the same way we did the chicken. So they'll slide right on the skewer. Start here, go through the outside. There we go. And then I try to make them about the same size as the chicken as far as width is concerned. <laughs> width. So we have our little pieces here. We're gonna go in and finish this one up. Make sure you avoid the middle. Lots of seeds there. Or maybe you like seeds, I don't know. Just take caution. Heed my warning. There we go. Now we're gonna move on to the red pepper. Same principle applies. Well, I take that sticker off there first. Don't wanna eat sticker. There we go. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna finish these up and then we'll move on to the onion. Boom, all of our peppers are chopped up. Now it's time to move on to the onion. So we're gonna take this, cut it right down the middle. Urgh, fighting with it, fighting with it. There we go. Split in half. Now the key is to get this skin off the outside of it because we obviously don't wanna eat that. So I like to go around here and slowly but surely get that layer off of there. And then once the outer layer is peeled off like so, I go ahead and you can use the rest of this the same way we're using these. I just, this outside layer for some reason, I don't know why, even though it looks similar right here, the outside for me just doesn't taste as good when I do it this way. I don't know why, but little tip right there. So we're gonna go and get this onion diced up as well. And there you go, everything is diced up just the way we need it. It's smelling really good too. So let's go ahead, pull that chicken out of the fridge and get started on building these skewers. Now that everything's where we need it to go, we can start building these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my chicken here. I let it marinate. I probably let it go for 30 minutes because I'm making a video, but I'm telling you guys, wait that full hour, it'll be worth it. But we're gonna take our chicken, pierce the end of our skewer and slide her on down. And then what we're gonna do is take a green pepper, poke it, ah, slide it on down. You wanna be careful you don't get them too close or they're not gonna cook as well. So at least have them spaced a little bit apart. Go ahead and take an onion. Now onions are tricky because there's all these layers to them. So you have to pierce it in a certain manner for it to stick on and boom, like so. Now we'll grab a red one, put it on here. There we go. And then back to the chicken and so on and so forth. I think you guys get the point. That is basically what we're doing. We're gonna go through and fill these four skewers all the way up and then it's time to cook. And boom, all of our skewers are fully loaded and ready to go. Doesn't that just look pretty? That's doing something for me. I don't know, it's doing something for me. If that was a woman, I'd marry it or at least take it out to dinner. At least take it out to dinner. I'm not a savage. And then we have this stuff left over, which I can save for future meal prep. And then we didn't use all of our chicken. So I can go ahead and save that as well. Keep it in that marinade. That way that flavor soaks in there nice and well. So let's go ahead and throw this on the grill. And ah, here we are guys. Check out my new grill. Never been used before. My mom got it for me for my birthday. Check this out. Look at that. New, new, you know it's legit. So we're gonna be testing it out for the first time. Shout out to my mom, by the way. Thank you so much for the birthday gift. I told you I put it to good use and here we are. First thing, we're gonna set this to a medium heat. All right, let's go ahead and light it. Woo, nice. So what I'm gonna do to make sure this doesn't stick is take some of my non-stick cooking spray and spray it on each of these skewers. Hit them like that, nice little light coating. And boom, there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and just place our skewers right here. Boom, on the rack. Space them evenly apart. There we go. And ah, final one. Now, the key with this, we're gonna go ahead and close it, is you wanna rotate them about every three minutes or so, flipping them over, making sure they're cook cooking all the way through. Takes about 15 minutes in total to make these. Okay, it's been a few minutes. It's time to go in and flip these. And then you wanna be careful, because you don't wanna burn yourself. So how do we wanna do this? Flip you, like so. Whoa. Boom, got him. And then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our Mrs. Dash seasoning from earlier, and we're gonna sprinkle it on top of these. Nice way to add some good flavor, a little bit of crunch there. Can't go wrong with added crunch. Am I right, boys? Awesome. Awesome. Now we'll close it and rinse repeat until it's done. And we are officially done. About 15 minutes cook time and these are good to go. So we'll migrate them over to our tray again. Boom, boom. Gosh, this smells so good, guys. Boom and boom. Ah, there we go. Mm. Guys, get a load of these. How good does that look right now? My mouth is literally watering just sitting here smelling this. I cannot wait to give this a taste test. What do you guys think? Does this look like it's gonna be good? Comment below before you watch. Let me know if you think it's gonna pass the taste test, if it's gonna get one seal of approval or two seals of approval. Without further ado, let's do it. All right, guys, it is officially taste test time. Look at that. Well, you just seen it, so I don't know why I'm showing it to you again. But hey, dramatic effect, right? Let's go ahead and take one of our skewers here. We'll do this. This one, we'll do a taste test. Whew, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Mm. 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 So good, so good. Let's see if we can just peel these off and mm. we're only marinating that chicken for as little as I did. It's got a lot of flavor. This might be a new thing, guys. Ah, 
Mmm. 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 Okay. Mmm. Clear my throat. Mmm. And now, for a recipe that doesn't have any dairy in it, that didn't really have anything artificial, all natural ingredients, that is an amazing recipe. That is super good. I recommend you make these the next time you grill out, or heck, just make them in general. And you don't have to technically use a grill. You can also bake these in the oven if you so desire. Make it a little easier for some of you guys that don't have grills or don't like to grill. But grilling is one of the best things in the world. I feel like it makes your food taste so much better. Yeah. Oh, mm, that is so good. Put a little bit of hot sauce on those. Those would just be epic. So what do I rate it? This for me definitely gets the double seal of approval. Now it may not be the most flavorful thing in the world, right? It might not be like ice cream or it might not be like having a protein brownie, something along those lines. But for all natural ingredients, for it being as healthy as it is, because you're just getting the peppers, the onions, and then chicken breast with minimal fat, minimal carbs. This is a uh, really good recipe, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. I'll probably be making these more often in the future. Let's go ahead and check the macros for this. Each skewer by itself is 192 calories, with each skewer only containing one gram of fat, five gram of carbohydrates, and 38 grams of protein. So a great option if you're trying to keep your fat low, your carbs low, and you want something a little different. Awesome recipe, guys. Being successful at this lifestyle is all about finding stuff like this you can do to not only add a little bit of spice back into your meal prep, but give you different options that we don't feel like you're eating the same thing. Because when you have stuff like this, it doesn't even feel like you're dieting. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this video. If you enjoyed grilling out, let me know. I'll try to make more grill-centric videos. I thought about doing an entire meal prep video where all the food was prepped on the grill. Literally everything, all of our veggies, all of our carbs, everything will be done on the grill. So if you want to see something like that, let me know in the comment section below, and I will go ahead and get started on that for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, or you thought the recipe looked good, or if I didn't get on your nerves too bad, please hit that like button. It helps me out more than you know. So thank you for watching, and as always, guys, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. With that, I am out of here. This has been a Remington James production, and I'll see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. See you guys.